Hey everyone, Kyle here. Proton VPN has a free plan and a paid plan. The free plan gives you basic privacy on one device and the paid plan adds faster speeds, many more servers, and extra security tools. In the next few minutes, I'll show you the clear differences so you can pick the right plan for 2025. On Proton VPN's free plan, you get unlimited data and no official speed throttle. That might sound like a good deal, but free servers are busy because of course many other people are sharing the same small pool of apps access. During peak hours, that crowding slows things down. You might see pages load a bit slower, HD videos drop to lower quality, or large downloads take longer than expected. For casual browsing or checking your email address, that slowdown is usually not that big of a deal. However, reviewers are still calling Proton VPN free one of the fastest free VPNs out there. But fastest free is not the same as fast overall. The paid plan changes the picture here. When you subscribe, you unlock Proton VPN's 10 GPPS servers, which are spread across dozens of different countries. Fewer people are actually using each server here, so congestion is really rare. Speed tests actually show that the paid plan is keeping up with even modern home internets. Enough for 4K streaming, quick cloud backups, and smooth video calls. If you work from home, game online, or download big files, that consistency really actually adds up. In short here, free is a definitely a fine way to go for any light past you have. But at the end of the day, paid is definitely going to be better if you dislike buffering, lag, or long wait times or large downloads. Proton VPN's free plan lets you connect through only a handful of countries. Right now, that list consists of the United States, the Netherlands, Japan, Poland, and Romania. The application usually auto-selects whichever of those is going to be the closest to your current location. That setup actually works if all you want is a basic privacy shield, but it gives you very little control over your online location. If a streaming site, news page, or a game server is restricted to a region outside of those five countries, the free plan can't really help you there. For example, you can't appear to be in the United Kingdom to watch BBC or in Canada to check a local sports feed. Basic travelers who rely on banking sites that demand a home country IP often will find the same exact roadblock. The paid plans are far more broader though. In 2000, 25 Proton VPN Plus offers servers in more than 110 countries, and you can ultimately choose the exact country inside of the application. That giant map unlocks several huge benefits for you. The first of these is that you can reach almost any regional streaming library that you can think of. Log into a US Netflix catalog while vacationing in Spain, or potentially switch to Japan for local and new services without having to actually be inside that country. The second big benefit here is that you can reduce lag by picking a server physically closer hop here usually means faster speeds and lower ping, which helps with video calls and online gaming. The third consideration here is if you live under heavy internet censorship. More exit points mean that there are more chances to slip past geolocation blocks when one country's servers get filtered. Put simply here, the free plan's small list works pretty well for straight privacy, but unfortunately not for location flexibility. The paid plan's worldwide spread lets you choose where you appear online, improves connection quality by letting you stay local when possible, and offers a ton of different backup routes if a single country server face restrictions. Both the free and paid plans use the same strong encryption and follow a very strict no logs policy. Proton VPN and ultimately Swiss privacy laws protect user data. Whether you pay or not, your internet provider and Proton VPN itself cannot see or housing activity. The free plan also includes a kill switch that cuts your internet if the VPN ever drops out for any reason, which ultimately prevents any leaks from happening. It also offers a stealth protocol to disguise VPN traffic on networks that try to stop it. For most people, these safeguards are enough for public Wi-Fi, hotel networks, or basic censorship. The paid plans build on that foundation with extra tools, secure core routes for your traffic through to Proton VPN servers, which basically will happen first in a privacy-friendly country and then ultimately to your final destination, at which ultimately adds a layer of defense against advanced tracking. NetShield also blocks ads here, tracking scripts, and any known malicious sites at the VPN level. That way pages load much cleaner and you avoid any of the common web threats that come with these types of trackers. Paid users can also use servers that combine VPN with the Tor network, which is basically Tor over VPN, for deeper anonymity. And the paid plan officially supports P2P 
traffic on designated servers, which the free plan unfortunately does not. In short here, the free plan keeps your connection private and safe for regular use, but the paid plan includes secure or NetShield, Tor over VPN, and P2P support. These extras really matter if you need stronger protection against surveillance, want built-in ad and malware blocking, or plan to torn files. If you're interested in getting started with this VPN, I would highly recommend using that link down in the description. When you click that link, you should be brought to a page that looks something like this one. As you can see here, you can get up to 70% off of your Proton VPN plan when you use that link down in the description. You simply click on the button here, which will take you to their pricing page. Now that we're on our pricing page, we can see we have three plans that we can choose from. We have a 24 month option, a 12 month option, or a one month option. Now each of these plans come with their own benefits, but it's mostly based on a time schedule. You'll know to get the best possible price on all this, I'm gonna go ahead and go with the 24 month plan, which is gonna get me 70% of my overall subscription price. I simply click on the get the deal button, which will take me to their sign up page, which is also going to be their checkout page. Once I fill out all of my information, I just hit that pay button. And just like that, we're ready to get started with Proton VPN. Other than that though, that's pretty much it for this video. Make sure to comment down in the comment section if you guys have questions about this specific VPN service. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss any of our future videos. Also, please remember that the links down in the description are affiliate links and we could earn a financial benefit from them at no extra cost to you. Thanks in advance for supporting more videos like this one and I'll see you guys in the next one.